Black World, Black World, Black World TV. Black World TV, your news, your views, our voices. Today's broadcast is about the community leaders who are speaking out against the cold killing of a black woman in Fort Worth, Texas, named Tatiana Jefferson. She was only 28 years old in her own home, and she was gunned down by a Fort Worth rookie police officer who's only been on the job for a year or so. So Rodney McIntosh, one of the pastors down in Fort Worth, Texas, was seen on the news video speaking out on the shooting of our dear sister, Atatiana Jefferson of Fort Worth, Texas, where a police officer was called out to check on a welfare check call to a non-emergency number to go check on this home of a woman who lived there with her eight-year-old son to go do a welfare check because the neighbor reported that the door was open and the lights were on and this was like 2 a.m. or so so the police officer goes out and you could see on the video footage from the body cam that when they arrived they arrived with no police lights no sirens and no announcement whatsoever that they were the police he goes around to the back of the home and after seeing a shadow or a body figure in the home he says put your hands up and he shoots right away there was no discussion there wasn't a any threat of any kind but this police officer shot and killed the homeowner so one of the points that the pastor brought up Rodney McIntosh and I thought it was very fair is you cannot defend this cold-hearted murder you cannot because the same way you try to use the castle doctrine in the Amber Geiger trial it's fitting for a Tatiana Jefferson. She had a right to have a gun in her own home to protect herself. So that's not the issue. So why white media decided to show the video footage of the body cam and then include silhouettes of a gun is beyond me. Besides trying to paint a black victim in a very harsh light. White media does this all the damn time. It's propaganda, it's rotten to the core, and it smells of filthy shit. White media does this all the time to black Americans, and we're going to call them out every time for it. So when you say that the Castle Doctrine fit for Amber Geiger, it's fitting for a Tatiana Jefferson. So she should be alive today. But nonetheless, this rookie police officer who's only been on the job for a year or so, they sent out to this home only to kill and murder the homeowner. As one of the other community leaders said, and I want to repeat, do not even paint or try to paint a Tatiana Jefferson in a negative light. Do not try to make a Tatiana Jefferson the villain. Do not try to paint this sister as the villain or the city will have hell to pay. The city will have hell to pay you guys have done this one time too many and black people are sick and tired of it we're sick and tired of it so you cannot paint this sister in a negative light
If you do, may Dallas burn in hell. So, as this man pitcher here with the Jesus hat, he says that we're crying out to the Lord. God Almighty, come and see about us. Are you freaking kidding me? Black man, the scriptures clearly tell you the kingdom of God is within. You're not understanding those scriptures, obviously. That's why you're waiting for an outside entity instead of doing things on your own. Because you fail to realize that the kingdom of God, the spirit of God is within. And you, human being, are supposed to do and carry out those godly things that you so pray for. You can't be that dumb. So, the community leaders have spoken up. And I'm glad because... We're not asking for any suspension as our community leaders have stated. We're not asking for any suspension of this police officer, whoever it is. No, we want immediate termination. Because just like Amber Geiger who couldn't find her way to her own apartment, and just like this police officer who couldn't announce that he was even in her backyard or on the premises, you don't deserve a badge or a gun. Your reckless behavior displays that. You don't deserve a badge or a gun. We are going to fight hand, feet, tooth, and nail for our communities. We're tired of these racist Police soldiers all across America k k killing black Americans. We're tired of it. May this country go up in fire and smoke if we don't get this straightened out. The police calling on police transparency. How dumb is that? It should be that automatically. The police are to protect and serve our communities. They should always be transparent. Why are we asking for that? That's dumb. That should be a fact. What's wrong with our community leaders not demanding this always? What are you doing? So, after watching the newscast from the white media, because they're so full of shit. They're so full of shit. And they stink. A foul odor. And that's why I'm glad we have the black media. Because that's the only way we're going to get the truth out to the people. So, when we ask the police about what are the police procedures on a response like this I'm so sick of this shit asking for police additional training and all that crap when we know it's bullshit because they don't respond this way to pol to white Americans to white people are you kidding me and we're asking for police procedures in 2019 when we see they don't respond this way to white people and we're asking them for police procedures how dumb can we be this country should go up in fucking flames black people if you don't get it together we're going down this is unacceptable on too many levels this police officer should be fired immediately and held accountable. And if they don't, Fort Worth should go fucking up in flames. This is not what I'm advocating. 
That's only the proper and immediate response that should happen. It's not what I'm advocating, it's the right response. You can't kill other human beings and expect no response. You can't do it. So, I wasn't gonna do this video because what the fuck difference does it make? We don't do nothing but fucking just shit sit here and talk about it. How many more videos am I going to see from other black YouTubers come out and talk about it? We got all the talking. What kind of fucking solutions are we going to come up with though? I can't wait to hear all the other videos of all the other black YouTubers. But where's the fucking solutions? Where are the solutions? This is unacceptable, and we need to let that be known. The kingdom of God is within. God is not going to help us until we help ourselves, period.